Hey Switchheads, welcome back. My name is Kanan and welcome to my review of Liberated. A kind of comic story based or story driven action adventure puzzler type game. But before we delve right in, don't forget to click that Discord button down below and join our, well, community Discord for all sorts of streaming type community activities that we do on there. And so let's turn the page and see whether it's us that needs liberating from this game or will we want to stay until the very end. Gameplay. Firstly, let me just touch on the fact that this is the updated version of the actual game, not the original release. What this means is that it's been patched and also you gain two extra chapters that kind of like expand on the ending of the game. You literally play in a comic book which is actually unique and pretty cool in several chapters. As the story starts and the pages turn, you actually play in the little box segments of the comic book or the comic pages as you actually go on. Now this consists of several things. The story which will unfold as you go along and it's all about kind of real life type things. All to do with technology and the way things actually could be going itself. And kind of gives a nod to the reality of everybody's got everything online and how safe and how the government actually want to take over and track and basically be like a big brother to everybody. Not in a good way either. Within the story you get kind of in places, say whether you want to, for instance, go left or right, you know, they give you an option to answer a question and it's up to you how you actually want to do it. This kind of almost gives an impression that the whole game can be replayed again and get different arcs from it. Certainly from my playthrough when I did certain things another outcome would come I think because it skips some pages again giving you that illusion that you can go back and replay the whole game and then there's run and gun type segments where you can actually hide in shadows and take out the enemy and within that you also get to hide in certain areas as well and be able to jump out of the enemy and well Kill them. Added to this a jump mechanic where you can well climb up fences, jump over things and the like. The shooting mechanic is okay but you kind of like use the one thumbstick to pull your gun out and to move it around and aim and then you actually fire with another button. There's nothing wrong with this system, it's just a little bit fiddly and kind of takes you out of the moment as you try to aim and multiply fire at an object hoping that you hit it and it dies or explodes. Add to this some QTE or quick time events and they are probably one of the weakest parts of the game. The AI also felt a little bit off to me as well, it kind of like just didn't feel like they were paying enough attention or just had that feeling that it just wasn't quite right somehow. And last but no means by least, they had some puzzles elements to them, these weren't exactly too taxing, they were okay and just a nice little thing to break up the rest of the game. I think if you put all these mechanics like on their own and judge them I don't think too many of them would actually come out really well but I think the clever way that they've actually put it together it kind of works, it works quite well to be honest with you. Graphically it is quite quite a beautiful game. I really do like the comic book effect to it. I really do like the way it actually looks when you do these run and gun segments. The whole atmosphere, well it just drips atmosphere to me. And again the way that comic book looks is just spectacular. I come from growing up with comics and it was just such a buzz to actually play an actual comic weirdly enough. The sound again to me is a winner. If anyone's listened to any of my story based reviews they know straight away that one of my bugbears is them not being voiced. This is fully voiced and is actually voiced quite well. You do occasionally get the odd one line or so that kind of like is just not quite right but in, in general this really is well acted if you like and really really well structured. 
or the other noises as well well pretty well on par there's gun noises and all and they all sound like what they should actually sound like Falcon A, now for the most important part you need to give me remote access to the network way to draw attention to yourself at least if they're shooting at you they're not chasing the others The good, well definitely those graphics, the whole comic book like effect is just brilliant and I love it. And the sound is just amazing, the fact that it's all of it's voiced and I again love it. The bad, there's nothing terribly bad about this game, maybe the aiming could be fixed a little bit better, maybe the actual QTE events could have been done better, nothing's really really sort of like really bad. It's just that all the other bits are not sort of like elevated to the level that the graphics and actual sound are. And score wise, well basically there's only one score I could really give this game because it made me smile lows. Yes it's not perfect, it does have its faults, but as it stands right now, I'm going to have to give it a 4 out of 5. It's a lovely game, I know that all the other bits that I spoke about kind of like on their own or average but putting them all together even with the slight faults here and there with that story driving it forward and the sound and the speech and everything it's really hard not to give it anything but a four out of five in fact if these little points were actually picked up and and like changed this could actually elevate it to a five out of five but as it stands right now it's definitely a four out of five and a really good buy so what do you think? Have you actually bought this game and did you actually like it? If so, leave it down in the comments, that's where they belong. Or you can join us in our community Discord where we actually do lots of streaming and community events. Because life is better when we switch together.